time I spent in Jordan, I met many East Asian workers who spoke Arabic very well. My friend then told me, you know, they've never really studied in a language school or used the books. They just learn it from work and immersion. This gave me mixed feelings of frustration and fascination and of course a touch of jealousy. Moreover, she told me about many times she encountered foreigners who are married to locals. They can speak fluent Arabic through immersion and not only that, they also pass their mother tongue to their children. These children end up being trilingual. As a polyglot, I can't help but wondering what makes immersion different from academic education and how I could apply immersion outside the target country. You might also be wondering, can we really learn the language without studying it? In today's video, we will be exploring the myth of learning a language without studying. I will be sharing with you all the methods and advice that I've gathered over the years from research as well as from my own experiences and those of my polyglot friends, which might help you to change your language learning game. It seems that you do acquire a language in a rather different way. And in terms of learning multiple languages during development? Well, first of all, it's, it's worth mentioning that overwhelmingly people learn language without training. linguist Noam Chomsky's theory of a universal grammar, humans are born with an innate understanding of the fundamental principles that underpin language. This capacity for language is believed to be hardwired into our brains, which forms the foundation for language acquisition. In other words, we already possess the tools needed to learn the language from day one. First, we need to clarify the difference between acquisition and Learning. learning refers to the conscious and intentional process of acquiring knowledge through the structured study, while acquisition is the natural and subconscious process of acquiring knowledge through the exposure and immersive input. Acquisition means picking up a language, subconsciously absorbing the language, having a feel for it. Learning means what we did in school, knowing the rules. Acquisition is an intuitive process. According to linguist Stephen Crushen, acquisition is much more powerful than learning. Isn't it fascinating how quickly children develop linguistically? They begin learning a language, a complex task for our adults, even before mastering basic abilities like drawing a line. If you think about it, Despite the fact that their brains are still developing, children can learn rapidly through mimicking. They exceed the daily word count of adults studying in academic settings because of their direct exposure to language. But is it really that simple? Studies show that children start listening to sounds even from the womb. From the day they are born, they begin recognizing sound patterns. This explains the adorable go go gaga bubbling, their first attempt at mimicking sounds. So, by the time children pronounce their first words at around one year old, they've already spent a year immersed in listening, repeating adults, and learning patterns, all without a need for grammar. Many people worried about grammar when starting a language. However, according to the acquisition theory and the success stories of people who have used this method, we all agree on not focusing directly on grammar, at least not in the beginning. Instead, it's recommended to expand your vocabulary and immerse yourself in listening. Given our brain's capacity and our innate ability to acquire languages, we will start to automatically notice the repetitive patterns in sentence structure and grammar. So when starting to learn a language, I suggest focusing on listening and mimicking rather than grammar. I suggest two things. Number one, wait until you speak the language fluently or semi-fluently, then study the grammar. That 